Greetings, spiritual friends. We've reached chapter 9 of, The Power of Now. In this chapter, titled, Beyond Happiness and Unhappiness, There is Peace, Tall shares that happiness and unhappiness are like waves in the ocean. To find peace, we should navigate between these waves like skilled swimmers. The chapter begins by exploring the basics, such as the distinction between happiness and inner peace. Tall emphasizes that happiness relies on positive conditions, while inner peace don't depend on external circumstances. When faced with negativity, there's a hidden lesson, even if it's not immediately apparent. From a higher perspective, situations aren't inherently positive or negative, they just are. Complete acceptance is key to living without labeling situations as good or bad. In circumstances beyond your control, take action where you can and, simultaneously, embrace what is. Marcus Aurelius, a wise figure from 2000 years ago, urged acceptance of whatever comes as part of your destiny, fitting your needs perfectly. Many problems in life stem from unconsciousness, self-created or ego-driven. These are like, drama, in your life. Full consciousness eliminates drama, no resistance, control, power struggles, greed, defense, or attack. Even when alone, you create your own drama by feeling sorry for yourself, guilty, or anxious. Embracing complete acceptance ends all drama. In this state, nobody can argue with you. You can express your views clearly but without reactive force, defense, or attack. Full consciousness brings an end to inner conflict. In the world of tangible things, there's birth and destruction, growth and dissolution of distinct forms. This pattern is evident in stars, planets, physical bodies, trees, flowers, the rise and fall of nations, political systems, civilizations, and the inevitable cycles of gain and loss in individual lives. Success and failure come in cycles. Things thrive, then wither or break down, prompting the need to let go for new things to emerge or transformation to occur. Resisting from this flow causes suffering. Judging up as good and down as bad is a mental construct. Growth is generally seen as positive, but perpetual growth would turn destructive. Dissolution is essential for new growth. One cannot exist without the other. The downward phase is crucial for spiritual awakening. Deep failure, loss, or pain often lead to a pull towards the spiritual dimension. Success can turn empty and meaningless, revealing failure within. Failure hides in success, and success in failure. In this world, everyone, fails, eventually, as all achievements are impermanent. Physical energy also follows cycles, with highs and lows. There are active and stagnant periods, lasting from hours to years. Resisting low energy cycles can lead to illnesses, they're vital for regeneration. The compulsion to derive self-worth from external factors and constant doing is an illusion when identified with the mind. This resistance may force the body to create illness, urging you to stop for necessary regeneration. What once made you happy may lead to unhappiness. Today's prosperity becomes tomorrow's empty consumerism. A joyful wedding turns into an unhappy divorce. The cycles of life are inevitable. The Buddha said that even when you're happy, there's an unsatisfactory aspect to it, inseparable from its opposite. Time is the only thing that seems to separate them. This doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy pleasant things. However, seeking identity, permanency, and fulfillment through them leads to frustration and suffering. If people stopped seeking identity through things, the advertising industry and consumer society would collapse. While things can bring pleasure, they also bring pain. Joy is uncaused and comes from within as the joy of being, your natural state. Think about it, no other life form on the planet knows negativity, only humans. Flowers, oak trees, dolphins, frogs, and cats in their natural state don't experience negativity. Animals close to humans may show signs of negativity due to human influence. Even ducks taught me spiritual lessons. They float peacefully, fully present in the now, and flap their wings to release surplus energy, preventing it from turning into negativity. Recurring negative emotions and illnesses sometimes carry a message, pointing to the need for greater presence. While negativity persists, use it as a signal to be more present. If you can't let go of it, accept its presence and focus your attention on the feeling. For example, when a car horn irritates you, understand that the mind, not you, created the irritation. It believes resistance will change the undesirable condition. 
Transform this into a spiritual practice by becoming transparent and letting the noise pass through you. If someone says something rude to you, instead of reacting unconsciously, let it pass through without resistance. You can still express that the behavior is unacceptable, but don't let it control your inner state. Stop searching for peace. When you fully accept your non-peace, it transforms into peace. Think of it like compassion, not just for others or nature, but also for yourself. When you go beyond opposites created by the mind, you become like a deep lake. Your life's outer situations are the lake's surface, sometimes calm, sometimes windy. Yet, deep down, the lake remains undisturbed. You are the whole lake, not just the surface, in touch with your depth. Without mental clinging to any situation, you don't resist. Coming from being, you see another person's body and mind as a screen, revealing their true reality behind it. When faced with someone's suffering or unconscious behavior, you stay present, in touch with being, and look beyond the form to feel the other person's radiant and pure being through your own. Compassion is recognizing a deep bond between yourself and all creatures. On a deep feeling level, you now sense not only your own immortality but also that of every other creature. On the level of being, there's a sharing of eternal, radiant life. Compassion involves merging seemingly opposite feelings of sadness and joy into a deep inner peace, although it's still rare. It might be surprising and only truly believed when realized. The body and death are one illusion, you can't have one without the other. Trying to keep one part of the illusion while getting rid of the other is impossible. You either keep it all or let it all go. However, there's no need to escape from the body. It's a significant misperception of your true nature. Each moment, your consciousness shapes the world you experience. A profound insight from modern physics is the unity between the observer and the observed. The one conducting an experiment and observing consciousness is inseparable from the observed phenomena. Different perspectives alter how phenomena behave. If you deeply believe in separation and the struggle for survival, fear governs your perceptions. Your consciousness interprets and interacts with the universal energy dance. Countless interpretations and worlds exist, depending on perceiving consciousness, all interconnected. Highly conscious beings, aware of their connectedness with the source and each other, recognize the oneness of all worlds. Our collective human world reflects the level of consciousness we call mind. Even within it, various interconnected sub-worlds exist. The current world is largely a reflection of the EGOIC mind, dominated by fear. Compassion, at a deep level, becomes healing for everything. Your presence touches everyone, and the peace you radiate affects animals and flowers. When a hungry person asks for bread, giving it becomes a moment of shared being, where the bread is just a symbol. Fighting darkness or unconsciousness creates an enemy, love your enemies, as Jesus said, implies having no enemies. In conclusion of this chapter, Toll offers profound insights into navigating the waves of happiness and unhappiness, urging readers to find lasting peace beyond fleeting emotions. By embracing complete acceptance, transcending ego-driven dramas, and understanding the interconnectedness of all life, the path to deep inner peace and compassion unfolds.